The Golden State Warriors this year have not been the same Warriors we have really came accustomed to when their kind of big three is healthy. Because yes, they had a few down years when Curry was out, Draymond, Clay was out. But really, for the most part, when their like main core guys of Curry, Clay, and Draymond, and even kind of Iguodala, were, are healthy and on the court, they're usually fairly dominant. And this year has been a far cry from what we are used to seeing. Last year, although they weren't like dominant for the entire regular season, they still had a huge stretch where they were undefeated for a super long time at the beginning of the year. And then even in the playoffs, they just caught fire, and they, they really were on a different level than pretty much any other team. And that was basically the case every time their big three has been healthy since they have got really been formed but this year is a little different and I think it's for a few different reasons one of that being is it's looking like a pretty nice retirement home when it comes to their core group of guys that have got them to where they are today as I mean outside of Steph Curry who is also 34 by the way outside of Curry age looks like it's starting to kind of affect some of their big names as Clay Thompson's 32 Draymond Green's 32 and Andre Iguodala Dalla is 38 years old and I mean Iguodala being 38 I mean that's who got one foot out of the door in life already that, that was messed up he's not that old but in basketball terms he is ancient and Igu Iguodala has hasn't even played a game this year due to injuries and a lot of that is due to the recovery time is a lot longer for an older guy than it is for a younger guy so Iguodala is already suffering a lot from that age and he also is far from the player he once was Draymond Green is even a little bit slower he's not as dominant on the defensive end he's still very solid but he is nowhere near the dominant force he was on that end before and offensively he is basically a non-factor as well so Draymond although still impactful on the court is far less impactful than he once was and it looks like he's a lot more concerned with kind of like fixing his image and getting along with a lot of people maybe to preserve his career for a little bit longer than he is really competing for championships at this point. Klay Thompson, although he is still okay, Klay Thompson is not the beast that he once was. Like, I mean, there were games where Klay would take one dribble and score 50 points in, a, in his prime, but that's just not what Klay Thompson currently does. He is currently averaging the worst field goal percentage of his career and the second worst three-point percentage of his career as well, and he is not the same defender he once was either. So really, outside of Curry, pretty much everyone that was a staple of this team for years and a huge part to what they do has really been struggling mainly due to them getting older and injuries kind of creeping up on them due to that age getting up there and the Golden State Warriors are turning into the Golden State retirement home very very quickly. Another big contributing factor to why this Warriors team is not where they probably thought they would be this year is because their young guys really have not developed nearly to the level that they would have wished. James Wiseman was a second overall pick and I mean he was in the G League for a little bit this year. He's basically fallen completely out of the rotation and he doesn't really get used at all despite you would think they would be able to use him but he just his defense rotations is what Kerr said has been keeping him out of the lineup and honestly I mean I can't can't blame him he doesn't look good in NBA minutes he has played good in the G League but you would hope your number two overall pick would look good in the G League so he really hasn't developed the way they probably would have hoped uh, Moses Moody really hasn't been playing at, at all either Kaminga has been their best young guy I mean outside of pool but Kaminga even is just a role player at this point he's a a good defender he can dunk he's athletic he's good at slashing and he's a solid like I said a solid defender but he's nothing more than a role player and he doesn't really move the needle at all and then you also have Jordan Poole and Jordan Poole although a very solid young guy like very good and he they just really aren't getting what they probably wanted they probably want him to take that star level leap and take a lot of pressure off of guys like Clay and Curry and that's just not what Jordan Poole has been doing now yes he is still a very good player but he has not taken that star level leap they probably hope they would be getting out of him this season and with their young guys just not developing the way they probably would have rather them develop it has really kind of stunted their plans because I mean just a few years ago if you looked at their young core compared to their actual core you would say they could have had Kuminga who was hyped up as a potential star in his draft Wiseman is a star Moses Moody was a fairly good player and then Jordan Poole who they hit a home run on kind of late in the first round I mean their young core was looking very very good and it's kind of falling apart because the development just has not been there.
there on the part of their young guys. And another big part of this team is that the fact that their chemistry will used to always be so high. I mean, the big three of Curry, Clay, and Draymond have been together their entire career alongside with their coach, Steve Kerr. So they know the system in and out. Everybody on the team, they all know the system very well. They've been there for a very long time, and they're just a very tight-knit group. But this year, there have been a lot of cracks in the armor. I mean, in the beginning of the training camp for the season, Draymond Green quite literally punched Jordan Poole in the face, and he has gone on podcasts in the middle of the season saying that their relationship is nowhere near the same, and that the writing is on the wall that Draymond probably is going to have to leave this offseason. And that is very, very big things to say in the middle of an NBA season, and that just shows there is probably glaring chemistry issues with the inner workings of this team. Because, I mean, from a team that used to be working so well together, really no drama ever around them except for like the Durant and Draymond thing, and even then Durant was so good you could overlook it, and Draymond was really good at the time as well. But now that Draymond isn't as impactful as he used to be, the drama that comes along with him might be starting to negatively impact the team more than he is positively impacting the team when he is on the court. And it has really looked like he is trying very hard to develop his brand, and he's probably looking at a little bit like, what is his life going to look like after his basketball career is over? And that's kind of like what he looks like he is trying to do, why building his brand, trying to build his podcast, and things like that, which isn't really a bad thing, but I think it is very much negatively impacting the chemistry on this team. And when you have a guy like Poole, who's probably sees himself as a as a star level player and Draymond Green as his old head veteran that he probably would assume that he does not like at all especially not after the punching incident I'm sure Poole also doesn't like playing on a team with Green so I'm sure the chemistry is not where they would want it to be either and their chemistry used to be such a big part to what made this team work so good together so really overall from the Warriors chemistry issues from their young guys not developing from father time really taking over the Warriors just have so many things pushing against them it is impressive that they're even as good as they are because when your best player is 34 years old he is by far in the twilight of his career and still playing at an MVP level and he is really carrying this team to success and it is very hard to imagine this Golden State Warriors team winning the finals once again this year because of all the struggles they have went through and if they're able to recover from this assuming they don't make any crazy trade at the deadline if they can recover from this how they are right now Steve Kerr deserves to be hit in the Hall of Fame immediately because this team really does have a lot of things pushing against them and a lot of things that thought they probably thought were going to go their way like the development of their young guys has not happened to the point to where they would want it to and I just think the Warriors overall are probably in a much worse situation than they expected to be at this point in the season. But in part, you guys, that's my first video. So comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think the Warriors are in a bad spot? Do you think they can recover? How, where do you think they're going to finish in the playoffs? Any other thoughts in the comment section below? If you like the point, hit the like button and subscribe button. I mean, the apps will run me. And I hope you have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. So you have a blessed day. All glory to God. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Boo. Blah, blah, blah.